run through that. I, this is one of the best green manure crops you can have. It's um, winter tares, hairy vetch, whichever way you want to call it. And all that remains of them Look at that, how quick and easy is that? That goes in the compost, bed perfect. Nitrogen locked in. I need to break. Now that is how easy her hairy vetch winter tears is. Quick rake, that bed is perfect now. If you fold that in with cabbage or any other crop that needs nitrogen, those roots are locked in the soil. Perfect. So on the 1st of September in 2022, run over winter, a little bit too early, especially since we had a, a very mild um, winter, which encouraged too much growth that when we had that cold snap in December it hit it really hard and killed it off. Normally the hairy vetch will stand until a month ago, maybe even two months ago, and put on a lot of growth in the spring. This year's different, it's been a bizarre winter. I just want to show you something else as well, which is worth noting down here as well. I keep on banging on about how I got a, a problem with cooch grass. And here it is, look, trailing across from the edge of the path absolute pain in the butt I'll, I'll dig that up properly there's a little bit of it here then if I compare it to this bed now this bed has had the plastic on it not quite so good because look it's got an ants con in there because they like the drier conditions red ants pain in the butt anyway what I'm trying to say is the cooch grass I've lost one of the comfrey here but they actually hold at bay the cooch grass. It's not getting through the, the massive roots there. So I've got to plant another one there. But here's another bed with the comfrey. Cooch grass this side, nothing that side. Brilliant. And surprisingly, which I didn't really think this work as well, the trenches with wood chip are also holding their own very well. I'm well pleased with that. And whilst we're celebrating victory, let's have a little moan about another loss. This is alfalfa, happily regrowing, being an absolute weed. Really, really causing me a lot of problems wherever I sowed the stuff. So don't plant alfalfa in a no-till situation. It's too powerful, too persistent. Right, it's time to take this field bean crop down and the reason why I know is because it's flowering and when it's flowering it's taking the energy stored in the nodules and they will be used to power bean growth. To terminate beans is easy but you have to chop nice and low down. Right, we'll show you up close Now, there you see the, the root nodules here that will be used to power the green, the, uh, the bean growth. They are there. If you're going to chop, you need to chop so that it's roughly that level in the soil. Above this, and then these little bits will regrow, which is not what you want. So you've got to come down that low. It's also a good time because this is 
speedboat is just about to flower and set seed. So the perfect time to get rid of this crop and its associated weeds. There is a, an argument if you wanted to keep it going for just taking off this much of the foliage and allowing the basal shoots to regrow. That way extending and maximizing the yield of the Newton nodules. I'm actually going to try that on the second half, but you'll see how much root growth. I'm going to plant a couple of crops in here, so I want to utilize the the fertility now. Condition. Look at that there, look. And this is last had a mulch last spring. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. So just to sum up, this bed has been, had all the foliage completely removed because I want this bit of land for a couple crops until the sweet corn goes in that section which I've chopped and dropped. I'll, I'll come back to in a second. Just want to point out, if you remove all the foliage like this, that represents a net loss to the to the bed so all that goodness which could have been used by the microbiology of the soil is now gone but i need that bit of ground if you chop and drop like this this represents a good way of, of sheet mulching i have uh, weeded along the edges here so that try and minimize the amount of weeds it really depends on the background weed pressure by laying the foliage out in the bed, so that represents a mulch that should dissuade the, the weeds a little bit. Let's see how they go. Let's see if this works. But they, these, these will re reshoot from the nodules down here quite easily. Um, sweet corn won't go in for a little while yet. So let's see if there's any meaningful growth before I need this bed completely here we are on the other bed of my barrel pot the field beans chop and dropped rotting away nicely the weeds however that still got the root in the ground are taking longer and they will take longer but another couple of weeks and they will be gone 
and it's all that's uh, organic matter bulk that will only add to the soil to fertility not my plot not my rules I wouldn't ever have this stuff on but there you go